Okay guys, welcome back to our installation series. Um, sorry for the noise in the background, it's laundry day, so um, it can't really be helped. <laughs> and no, I couldn't have done this video after I would have done laundry because after I would have done laundry, I would have put the blankets back on the bed and then went back to sleep and then nothing would have been made. So, like I said, it can't be helped. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do now is install Blender and all our Blender environment things because um, it is the main workspace, the 3D environment, which we're going to be creating stuff in. So you need to have that properly installed and, you know, once it's done, everything will be working fine. So for my tutorials, I use Blender 2.72. Now I know it's an old version of Blender, but it is very useful for people who are um, just starting out with 3D, uh, just starting out with creating things and is new to the whole process. And um, I like the weight transfer um, in 2.72 better than anything um, 2.72, um, newer than 2.72. So I always suggest people when you're following along on my tutorials to use Blender 2.72. and. Um, it should work out like it does in my video. If you use something else then and it doesn't work, well I can't really help you because I don't know I don't really use it. So with that said, let's download the version. So in the link in the description you'll see that there is um a link to Blender and it'll give you this page. It should look exactly like this. You're gonna download the ones that are up here, not the A or the B one, just the plain two point seven two ones. And you're gonna pick whichever one suits your computer. Um, for my computer, I always go for the 64-bit one, and I always like the EXE better than I do the ZIP because I don't have time to just go extract and then play that. No. Um, I just like to click on the EXE, and then we wait for it to download, and then, you know, you install it. So I'm going to wait for it to install. I mean, well, download. I guess I can pause it. I'll be right back when it's finished downloading. Okay, I actually didn't take that long. As soon as I hit pause, it was like, done. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do is just go here and you're going to open up your uh, Blender installer. I have like two at the end because I downloaded this so many times. So when you get it, you'll just be like this right here. And if you already have another version of Blender already, you can still keep that. I'm not saying you only have to work exclusively in this. But if you're new and you're just starting out, you're going to want to try this first and then upgrade to a new one once you get the swing of it. So I'm um, just going to hit agree, agree, go through it, and if you do have another version of Blender on your computer and you don't want to save over the one you have, you can just create um, a new folder anywhere. Um, I don't like to save in my programs, I actually like to go to my desktop and just create a new folder here and then we'll name it Blender uh, 27A or whatever. Um, even though that's a lie because it's not 2.7A. And then I'm just going to hit OK and it will just install there. But if you only have one copy of Blender on your computer, you can just keep going, hit next and next and next until everything extra, you know, installs properly. I just like to have multiple copies of Blender on my computer. So Blender's going to start and then do its thing, and we don't really have to watch this, do we? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait, wait, it's almost done. So, see any good movies lately? It's the new year, so I don't know if anything new has come out yet. Anything good. Oh, I've recently seen Moana. That was a really good movie. I, I totally recommend it if you haven't seen it. Oh, wait. So, wait, it's doing something. <laughs> no, it's still installing. Mm, oh, now it's done. So, it's going to ask you, do you want to run it? And you can click yes, and then just hit finish if you want to. So Blender is going to open up and then we're going to take this time to install all the plugins that we need for creating or at least following along with my tutorials. Now for my tutorials I use Avastar. Can't be helped. I need that program for everything from um, rigging mesh to making houses, making animations, correcting things. Avastar and Sparkles are just my bread and butter on this thing and I recommend that you use it too. So we're going to install Avastar inside um, blender and that will make our environment work fine um, when you start it up yours is going to have a cube and a camera and a light over here I think it just took over the um, what's the thing called the settings I had from my other uh, blender because it's on the same location so um, it's not here but 
when you have it, it'll look totally different than us and have a cube and a lamp and all that rest of that stuff. So you're fine. Um, let's go back into the internet browser. And we're going to go to the Avastar Machine Matrix <laughs> um, website. And we're just going to download a copy of Avastar. Of course, you have to pay for it. Um, and it's 22 you know, I don't get why all of a sudden I've been getting euros and all my stuff. I'm not, whatever. Uh, but you can also buy it with, um, what's this stuff called? Linden's L's. You can also pay for it for L's. So it's 6,500 L's or however much that translates to. I'm pretty sure in USD, this is $27. And you're going to need sparkles and you're going to need the full version of sparkles. Do not buy sparkles light because it's kind of a waste because all the good stuff that works on it is in pro and that's another 4,000 L or $15 USD. Now you can always find Avastar somewhere but you know you want to support the create developer so they can keep on developing um, but if you happen to find a copy of Avastar the one that I use in these videos is 1.71 and same sparkles well sparkles works anyway so you can use any version of sparkles but uh 1.71 is the one that i use so when you download it don't install uh avastar 2.0 because we're not using 2.0 in the beginning we're going to be using one point uh avastar 1 to 1.71 so let's go and install it pretending that we bought it which i did so yeah <laughs> um we're install 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 Okay, so we're going to go back here in Blender, and you're going to go File, User Preferences, and I'm going to bring the window over here and make it bigger so you get a better view of what's going to going on here. And you're going to go to Install from File, and you're just going to find wherever your um, Avastar saved to. All my stuff is here in my Documents, my Downloads folder, and as you see, I have a lot of copies of Avastar. I've been holding on to it for a while. So let's see, we're going to need Avastar 1.71, and normally it will pop up and it says Avastar, but if it doesn't, you can just type over here in this little search area here and type in Avastar, and then you're going to check the box. It might give you an error that's kind of normal, so what you do is... Um, just close it for a minute. I'm going to hit save user. I'm going to close it and I'm going to let me just pin this one so I know it's the right blender. Close this blender and open blender back up. Close that and then uh, user settings. I'm going to hit Avastar again and there you go. See, it usually just works. You just need to close it sometimes and then it works. So once you have that done, you have to hit save user settings, and then we're going to do the same thing and install Sparkles. So you go to install, and um, for me it's in my downloads folder, so I'm going to go over here and look for downloads, and then Sparkles, 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 uh, Sparkles, 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 uh, so, uh, okay, Sparkles, and I'm using 7.2 and sparkles will be there and do the same thing just type in sparkles if it doesn't show up and it didn't show up damn it does spell sparkles now let's see oh, there it is sparkles <laughs> and um you check the little box here and then it'll activate so you just check it and then it should do this and then you hit save user settings and then you close it and then you're ready to go. You'll see that you now have the Avastar tab, uh, the, the Avastar tools, and when you go to add, now there's Avastar and all the rest of that jazz. So now you're all set up for using Blender to follow my tutorials. So I guess I look forward to see you on the battlefield where we actually start creating. So this has been Zero, and now you're all set up. Let's see you in the other videos. Uh, bye.